All right, let's do some more math. We're going to find the missing dimension on this cylinder. We're going to find the radius. So I'm going to write down my volume formula for a cylinder, and that is pi r squared, the area of a circle, times the height. So I'm going to fill in the pieces I do know. I do know the volume is 300. I know pi still. I don't know the radius, but I do know the height. So I'm going to put in the height in parentheses, and it's 8. All I need to do is divide off the side with r squared, pi and 8. So I'm going to do that now, divide by pi and 8, and divide off the pi and 8 on the other side. Pi's cancel and make a 1, and 8's cancel and make a 1. I'm left with r squared. So I need to punch that in my calculator, make sure I get that right. you got to use parentheses, so 300 divided by 8 pi. 300 divided by parentheses, 8 pi. I'm not going to delete that off my screen because I want to be correctly rounded here. So it's 11.9 about. And then I'm going to take the square root of both sides just to get r because I don't want r squared. I want r. And it's going to be about approximately. It's not exact. So that's why I left it on my screen so I can take the square root and get all those decimals in there so I get a really good num estimate of this. Five decimals should be good. Punch it in. We get about 3.45. On this problem, it wanted us to round to the nearest whole number. So we're going to round it to 3, just barely. So it's about 3 millimeters. Whoa, my, my dimensions are off. It says millimeters here and inches cubed here. So you could have this as inches or millimeters. We got the wrong units. I'm going to scratch this out and put millimeters. My favorite cat is a leopard. Over and out. <laughs>